Welcome to episode two of my Diary of a Homegirl series of little videos where I'm going to be talking to you guys about my music, my songs, why I wrote certain songs, the stories behind them, and all of that stuff. So if you've ever been a fan of my music, you're really going to enjoy these videos. Well, at least I hope you do. The first episode that I just did was talking about my first album, Brown is Beautiful, that was released in 2006 and telling you guys how that album cover came to be, what it was. What I didn't tell you guys was why does it sound the way it does and why does it sound so different than maybe my most recent one, Sad Girls Club, which is super important because I want these videos to be kind of like an autobiography, memoir if you may, for me to have because my memory hasn't been that great, you guys. And I don't wanna forget one day and not have this on record. And who better to tell my story than myself? First fun fact is that the album, Brown is Beautiful, was not originally going to be called that. It was actually supposed to have been called Brown and Beautiful, but how could an album be called that when I certainly didn't feel beautiful? How was I going to call my album that and for it to be a joke? Because I didn't fit the description. So the album name was changed quickly after the recording began. Sad, pero pues... It was what it was. If you take a listen to that album, you will quickly realize if you haven't ever heard my stuff, that it is a very hardcore Chicano rap type of album. There is not a lot of love songs in there. There's not a lot of sweet anything in, in that album, except for maybe one song, which was for my daughter. Aside from that, the love songs that are on there are very forced. That was a discussion that I would have with the label very frequently during the recording of that album because they wanted me to do more love songs but I couldn't you might be wondering what do you mean you couldn't I didn't feel pretty enough to do love songs you guys in my mind you had to look a certain type of way if you wanted to be cute if you wanted to make any sexy songs or songs where you would hype yourself up and i felt like if you didn't look like that and you sang about certain stuff that it would be like a joke i was already going into the scene with my self-esteem being non-existent when it came to my looks i've never once doubted my ability to make music i thank god for that but when it came to the way that I looked, it was really bad. How am I going to be this feminine girl in love and sweet when I looked the way that I did? I couldn't. What if you hear me on a song being this super feminine and, and sweet girl and then you see me and the two things don't match i had no choice i had to come at it hard you guys so going into the recording of the album i had already made my mind up on the things that i could do and the things that i couldn't do i felt like since i was lacking in the looks department i needed to make sure that i didn't lack when it came to being on the same level as the guys in our circle te imaginas could you guys imagine i don't have it in the looks department and then i come like super soft you had the girls that were singing very delicately and were super pretty but then i wasn't i didn't feel pretty and in me being soft that would have been a disaster you guys i wanted people to listen to my music for what it was like not start visualizing her because she sounds sexy on a song or 
sounds cute so sad to think about it now but that was my reality i didn't feel like i could do those types of songs looking the way that i did that takes you back to get a feel of the mind frame that i had at that time i was a big girl and in my mind there were certain things that i couldn't do and that is because in the entertainment industry the way that you look is even more important than the actual talent that you have i want to keep it as real as possible in case you are a girl watching this and you want to get into the entertainment industry and you are not ready for them to eat you alive you got to be prepared emotionally especially because they will try and break you down bad i don't know how many times i've tried to record this video already you guys because there's so many things that i want to say so if this video just comes out a hot mess and rambling you guys it's because it is what it is there's a lot more i want to talk about you guys but that is a big chunk of why the album sounds so hardcore compared to the rest of them after that album you guys slowly but surely i began getting more confident in knowing that you know it was okay to do love songs not everything is sadness though you guys i feel like thanks to that first album i earned my spot in the chicano rap scene i earned the respect of my male counterparts and i earned loyalty from the homegirls because they knew that i was out here to do what i love and nothing more i wasn't out here to compete with any of them to take anybody's man but just to make music and do my thing and i would not change that for anything now that we got that out of the way we can go into the music so catch me on the next episode so we can start going down the track listing of brown is beautiful this is your homegrown is crazy checking out per usual Al rato.